The 2015 I-75 I-71 Ohio Crop Tour is brought to you by Agriculture Liquid Fertilizers. Proven performance you can trust. Learn more online at agriliquid.com. I'm Bart Johnson with Ohio's Country Journal and the Ohio Agnet. And on this first leg of our I-71 tour, we started in Medina, we've ended up in Lincoln County. And what I've been most surprised at is that the amount of water and how wet it's been this year, we've got very little disease pressure. I think it um, you know, goes back to these hybrids and varieties are pretty strong with the diseases that we have here in Ohio. We had one field that was, was struggling with heavy pressure, but the yield on that field is actually going to be pretty decent. So that's been one of the big surprises for me. Hi, I'm Justin Blackstone with Premier Environmental Liquids. The thing I noticed today is a lot of the inconsistencies that we saw early on in the planting season seem to have carried over to today. Um, things look good in the high ground, not so good in the low ground, um, obviously due to water. So for me today, that's kind of what stuck out in my head. I'm Matt Hutchison with Seed Consultants, and uh, my big takeaway today is the importance of plant spacing and uh, that right population when we're planting corn because today, in our, uh, even in our low yield environments up to our high yield environments, the best corn we've seen has been planted at the right population and at a uniform plant spacing. My name's Josh Schoeder from Union County. Uh, what I was surprised today with was uh, the soybeans that we saw. We saw a lot of uh, good looking soybean fields that we didn't really know what we were getting into until we got up close and had an opportunity to do some pod counts and realized that a lot of good looking fields uh, were already hurt by the, the inclement weather earlier in the season and don't have the pod counts that, uh, that we're gonna need to, to boost yields to the next level this fall. So as we wrap up day one, this is our fourth year we've done this tour and as always, you know, surprises here, surprises there. But overall, my, my impression of today is the corn is as marginal across the state in this section as we've seen in four years, it's just, a lot of it's just yellow. It's just had too much water. So as we look forward to tomorrow, I'm hoping, you know, we'll, we'll see some better stuff in the southwest, it sounds like. But my guess is variability will be the theme of this tour.